all of these images are not real yes these are all ai generated and all of them are generated with none other than flux 1.1 and there is no doubt that flux 1.1 is the best ai image generation model out there so in this video we will be looking at flux 1.1 and how to make these images so the black forest ai just announced their flux 1.1 Pro and this is some of the information about this model. Flux 1.1 Pro provides the 6 times faster generation than the Flux 1 Pro. And these are some of the benchmark results with some of the other AI image generation models because AI always loves to flex with the benchmarks. But all of this information is boring. Let's talk about how to access this AI tool. So there are a couple of ways to access this AI tool. The first one is going to be together.ai and on the first sign up they gives you the $5 credits for free and next one is going to be the segment. They also offer the Flux 1.1 model and you will get 25 cents daily credits in a free plan. Next we have the rubberband.com and this AI tool allows you to generate 10 images per day. I will leave this link down below. Next we have the fall.ai and this one also costs money for that. And next you can also access this on a freepick.ai and obviously you need to buy their premium membership to access this AI tool. But today we will be using this on a together.ai and on the segments AI. So in together.ai you can see we have very minimal parameters here like you can adjust the height, you can adjust the width, we have the number of steps, random seed number, not too much parameters here. So let's give it a simple prompt like a beautiful woman standing on a New York street. Alright so this is actually very fast and this is the output image and yes it definitely looks like a typical AI generated image. You can see the background is very blurred. The skin is very smooth. There is some kind of shininess, polishness to the skin and it looks like a typical flux image. This is not a bad generation but not as good as we have seen in the beginning of this video. Now to get those kind of results there is a trick. So just type image then underscore and then you can type any four random digits. So let's say 1078 and dot cr2 so basically this is the file format of a canon camera images so let's see what we get out of it all right so this is the image and if we look at this it looks like very unprofessional phone taken and uh, you know very old and realistic kind of image now let's try changing the digits i don't know like 14 56 and let's see by the way thanks to the ai search channel for sharing this awesome trick with us and here is the output image and again this is very simple and generic image it looks like someone has captured this image with his phone not too much professionalism in this one that makes it look very natural now you can also add some keywords to it like cat or maybe a dog and let's see what it comes up with and Oh my god, just look at this output. It looks like a very typical image of a dog and can you detect that this is AI generated image because it looks like a very normal image. And let's try something else like a woman and let's see. And look at this output, man. This is so realistic and again I would say this is so much real that if you look at this image on an Instagram or on the internet you will not be able to detect that this is the AI generated image. This is amazing and the best thing that I like about this image just look at the skin texture. It looks very natural, very very natural. Now you can also try something else like instead of a woman let's try selfie and oh my god just look at this well i don't think so iphone captured this kind of grainy images but there could be some issue with the lighting but this is very old kind of grainy kind of natural looking image and one more thing that i like about the flex ai that it works really well with the fingers and if we look at the camera in a detail you can see the camera lenses are perfectly aligned and you can also see a tiny flashlight that is exactly like an iphone but one thing that apple logo is missing in this one but overall it's Good image. Well you can also try some other formats like instead of a CR2 you can type HEIC and uh, this time let's try club and let's see what it comes up with. And this is the output. Let me just download this image and look at that. Isn't it look like a very random real image? The facial feature, glasses, each and everything looks very very perfect in this one and it looks like they are enjoying a very happy dinner in a club but it doesn't look like this is a club. It looks like a cafe or a restaurant or something but just Look at the image, look at the realism, this is crazy. Now one more thing that you need to remember that these tricks only work with the one or two word prompt. So let's say I want to type 
an old woman so this will only work with the two to three words prompt if you type a lengthy prompt this is not gonna work so let's try old woman all right so here is the output image and look at that how realistic it is yes there is some funkiness going on with the hands even though flex ai performs really good with the hands but still in this one it didn't perform really well but overall if we look at the image it is very very realistic and very natural looking image so let's see what happens when you give it a longer prompt so a woman wearing a leather jacket at cafe so here is the output and now you can see it looks like a typical ai generated image i'm not saying this is the bad image but everything looks very perfect in this one you can see the background is very blurred out just like other flex images there is some kind of shininess to the skin the skin is kind of polished so in short it looks like a ai generated image well you can also try some other formats like jpeg so you can type something like dinner dot jpeg so here is the very random image of a dinner and i don't know who eats fries in the dinner now let's try selfie.jpeg all right so here is the output and this is very very realistic the graininess in the image and this low quality shot makes it look very realistic now you can also try something like couple underscore selfie dot jpeg all right so here is the output and this is super super impressive and i like the thing that how it maintains the you know that imperfection in the image the imperfect shadows lighting in that that makes it look like a very natural and hand taken photo this is not looking like a very professional camera photo this is just a random phone selfie and here is the one more output with the same prompt and look at this man isn't it amazing and i don't think so at this moment any other ai image generation model can generate this level of realism this is crazy so using this method will give you very realistic but random results so if you will type a lengthy prompt this is not gonna work so that's it from today i hope you enjoyed this video and if you find something helpful do give it a thumbs up and see you guys in the next one